I'm depressed and not in a good way. Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Um, I just like to make this uh, kind of off topic video about uh, the state of the world that we're in. And, and just to make a quick observation, um, I watch a lot of videos as many of us do and I watch some uh, economics videos and I watch some prepper videos. And the prepper videos have been keeping me pretty informed as far as how things are going and it turns out that a lot of them are right. And the reason that I know that they're right or that I think they're right is that the economics videos that I watch are now talking like the prepper videos pitching um, emergency food and emergency preparedness and, like, and the such. I'm looking at the prepper videos and they're talking about all the different crises that are going to hit us once. Of course, um, the, economic video, the economic videos, they're all talking about the inflation that we all saw coming because of the stimulus checks. Um, but we are looking at the potential collapse of the dollar. Uh, we are looking at a food shortage. We are looking at a transportation shortage. We are looking at a trucking crisis. We are looking at uh, crisis after crisis after crisis, and they'll all compound on each other. And that's what I'm getting from all the prepper videos, that um, the S is hitting the fan, as it were, and that um, we need to be prepared. And by the way, you know, to my 2,000 subscribers, I really appreciate you, and I hope you're all taking this seriously, um, because... This seems to be very true, very real. It's predictable. And I can't say this enough. Your government lies to you. Okay? When Biden says there may be food shortages, there will be food shortages and they will be bad. If they were going to be maybe and they were going to be little, they wouldn't have said anything. The fact that they said something means it's going to be worse. The fact that we are having a trucking shortage on top of an economic shortage, on top of the collapse of the value of the dollar, it's not good. It's, it's not going to be a good time to be in America over the next couple of years. It's going to be hard. Our lives have changed. I think it's fair to say that in this country, everybody's lifestyle is going to get worse moving forward. So that's what everybody is talking about that I'm watching on YouTube. I think we should combine that with what the tribes are doing, and that is lying about each other. And yes, I do openly acknowledge that the right lies, but the left lies as a matter of course these days. The left lies as a matter of normal conversation. They make shit up, and they promote it, and they seem to promote it in an effort to make the mantra sing. The, the objective is to keep the mantra, to find something to say to make the mantra valid, not whether or not it you know, is right or does harm. A look at detransitioners, great example. Um, the, what this means is that, I, I, how can I say this? How is this going to combine with the fact that there isn't going to be food? How is this fact, how is the fact that we as tribes lie about each other and yes, I'm going to say the left lies more and believes the lies more and promotes the lies as a matter of course more. What are we going to do? How are they going to react when um, there's no food? when there's no baby formula, when, there's, when, when the, there may be a food crisis hits them on their front door. What's going to happen to this country when the crisis hits us and we're so split that we will lie about each other in order to hate each other, in order to justify hating on each other? How will those things combine? How will those things manifest? I have a very good idea how it's going to manifest. It's going to be violent. 
it's going to be violent and it's not going to be pretty. And I don't know how it's going to end up. Tim Pool keeps talking about civil war. I don't know if we're going to do civil war, folks. But I do know that there's a lot of hate in this country. And I hope that you will take a moment to rise above it. I hope that you will take a moment to realize that we do not need to hate each other anymore. That hating each other the way we hate each other is a first world problem. And we are no longer a first world country. We are no longer in the position to worry about misgendering or whether or not somebody is on the wrong swim team. We have to take care of each other and get food and shelter and energy. When um, 9-11 happened, before 9-11 happened, in the early days of George W. Bush, there was a show on Comedy Central or the Comedy Channel, whatever it was back then. It was called That's My Bush. And it was a show that depicted then-President George W. Bush as a bumbling, uh, wife-beating buffoon. It was... It was funny because I was left at the, left us at the time, but it was true, full-on buffoonery to have that kind of uh, negativity against the president. And then when 9-11 hit, George Bush came out and unified the country. And he had like an 85% approval rating after that. If Trump had been a competent leader, he would have done the same thing with COVID because a, a shared enemy is how you unite. Okay, that's how you unite. We have a new shared enemy, and that is the collapse of the dollar and the economy itself. This is our shared enemy, and it is a perfect shared enemy because it hits us all, no matter what color, no matter what sex. It hits us all as a country, as a united country. And this could be our means to reunify. This could be our means. When I was in um, Burning Man, <clears throat> the weather was pretty harsh uh, because we had those, uh, those sun, sandstorms. And really, the mentality was that it was everybody against the weather at that point in Burning Man. And that's what I think we need to do. Instead of going left versus right, we need to be against the bad economy and we need to support each other. Um, this is a time for, yes, covering your ass. Folks, you gotta have food, you gotta have water, you gotta have ammo, you gotta have, you gotta have stuff prepared. But you also have to be ready to put aside tribal differences, put aside the first world problems and recognize that we are now entering a phase in our lives where things are going to be harder than they were forever. And it's not going to be fun like it was again. And that's, you know, the playing the blame game is, is, is moot. It doesn't do anything. And, you know, I strive to reduce suffering as a mantra. I strive to do whatever I can to reduce suffering because I believe that's as close as we get to an objective good. And we're going to be suffering a lot, okay? There's about to be a lot of suffering in this country. And we need to have compassion. And we need to have um, love in our heart for everybody, for our fellow human. And I hope you can join me in that effort and you can take care of yourself and take care of each other because no one else will. And it's about to get bad for everybody. Good luck. Oh, and before I go, please like, subscribe and share. And by the way, um, I'd like to raise your awareness about a job opportunity that I'm creating. I am uh, opening a an insurance agency and I'm looking for people to come work with me. Um, I think that as the economy collapses, we have to be prepared to have a job, a, virtu a means of employment and bringing in money in that economy. 
I think I found such a place. Um, in Medicare sales, you can basically earn a living selling essentially free stuff to poor people. And I think in a down economy, there's going to be a wealth of unemployed, very, very unhappy people who need people to come in and help them get free stuff for free, which is what I do and it's how I make a living. If you're interested in this kind of job, I strongly uh, recommend you get in touch with me, Dave at firebrandforgood.com. Um, you need an insurance license. You gotta have sales skills, but not great sales skills. It's a work at home job. You sit here, you talk on the phone, and you help people for a living. And I'm gonna be doing that to earn money through the recession. And I think that's going to guarantee me employment during the recession. And if you would like to be in that situation, send me an email, dave at firebrandforgood.com. Let's talk. And if you know anybody who might be interested in this, please send them this as well. Thanks. Thank you.